From World of Concrete 2017, I'm with uh, Jason Schickerling, who's Director of Development with Skillsaw. Welcome aboard, my Thank friend. Thank you so very much. Pleasure nice to, to meet you. Nice to meet you. you. Yep. How's things going at the show so far? You know, we've been having a great time at the show. I mean, 2017 is the first time that Skillsaw has ever had an independent booth highlighting all of our great products here. And we just well, had a ton well, of Well, speaking traffic. of products, if you've ever had to cut concrete, it's all line, cut out, whatever. This has been like the staple of the industry for many, many years. That's correct. But it's show and tell time here, folks. So we're going to show and we're going to tell you about a replacement for this product. Jason? That's correct. Pick it up. Grab it and tell so, us what you got. So what we have here, like like you said, this has been the staple in the industry where this is typically a wood cutting saw used sure. by framers for, for decades. Uh, but concrete uh, installers have adopted Put this. a diamond blade on it and there you go. Exactly. So what we've done is we've ultimately taken the same types of motor and gear train, the power and performance of this, and adapted it for a new type of saw called Medusa. And so I'd like to show that to you here right now. Really, grab it. Bring it up here. Folks, you're going to be surprised at what you see here with this new Medusa. There's Medusa. So Have a look at this. So what Medusa is, is the first first worm drive fully integrated with all of the all of the features and elements that concrete installers like to have in a concrete cutting saw. So what we've done is we've integrated we've integrated water supply systems, dry vac systems into this into the solution. Also integrated a wheeled foot plate to easily glide over the concrete when you're making the cut as opposed to scraping it over with the foot plate. And we were talking about this initially and the fact that you can lay a line and you can lay this machine to that line as you're cutting. Exactly right. So it actually has a three-point system of, of tracking a line. So we have a line tracker up front. So when a when a concrete is scored, you have a you have a line up front. You can use the front tracker, the blade that will sit into the into the line, and also a back on the rear foot, another tracking. So you have three-point tracking that actually allows you to to um, start off your line and track it perfectly across and, the And you wanted to demonstrate maybe the drop down of the blade Absolutely. as well. So, and the way that's set up for this particular machine. Absolutely. So the way the way that this saw was designed was ultimately you, you can start the saw outside of the workpiece. The blade actually starts out of the workpiece when you have it all lined up. And then what you do is you actually set your depth to a specific blade depth. You would start your saw and then be able to plunge in and lock the, lock the saw into place and then take it and go. And when you're done making your, your very long cut, you can unlock the saw. The spring-loaded foot plate lifts the body up and pulls it out of the saw, making a perfectly accurate cut. Now that's technology. Plus the thing is, you've got a water flow uh, adapter here. That's correct. So, uh, so can you hook this up to a beer line, I'm wondering? You know, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> Do you like Stella or Budweiser? I, it doesn't matter. Okay, beer is good. I like that as well. Uh, absolutely. Any type of portable water supply or line supply will fit directly but on there. But just think of all the little special items that have been adapted in the machine. Water, and you've got dust control and a vacuum, and, and it's all in one handy, very handy little carry along skill saw product. Exactly. One other important point I just want to mention is that it also has a built-in GFCI outlet. So when the user is is cutting with right. water, he is uh, he's rest assured that he's not going to get any type of electrical shock when he's using water with this type of Folks, tool. next year when Jason comes back and talks about this skill saw, it's probably going to have power steering and a backup camera. <laughs> hey, that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Can we, can we hire you in? You're, you're, you got me. I'll tell All you right. what, this is really impressive. It's a, just a great little piece of equipment. Go see the folks at Skillsaw if you're here at World of Concrete. If not, if you're watching us online, contact the folks at Skillsaw. They'll be more than happy to tell you all about the Medusa. Thank you That's very much. It. You're more than welcome. I really appreciate the time. Okay, From World of Concrete 2017.